Hello. 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 Viewer. Right. Hello. Viewer, hello. Welcome. Uh, welcome, viewer, to the Ancestral Hobble. And we're back. We're back. But this is, there's a certain poignancy about this particular broadcast, because it may or may not be one of the last. <laughs> it may or may not it be. It won't be. It won't be the Maybe last. Maybe one of the last. No, but it, but it, it won't but, be. But, but we'll keep a, doing it. We'll do, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. In, I'm, I'm in a very nostalgic mood, viewer. Because it's great fun. I've just returned from the Festival of Havanos. And in, in Havano, or Havana. Uh, yeah, Cuba. Cuba, or Cubo. Um, anyway, the festival of the Habana, Habano. Um, and now, viewer, I return from Havana bearing gifts. What is it? What is it? I, I have the Partagus Linea Maestra. So what's the deal with these fatsos? They, they're, uh, the fatso, as it is officially known. El fatso. Anyway, that's the box. There's a nice shiny box inside. Viewer, inside, inside. Let's not open that because you can flog no, that on eBay. No, I won't put that on eBay, but, but I'm so frail now in my advanced age that I can only read you out of a side that there's one called Origen, one called Rito, one called Maestro. Fantastic. What have we got here? Maestro. We have the Maestro, which is... El Fatso. El Fatso, which actually is, viewer, I'm just proffering it as if it were a fine bottle of wine, as if I were a wine waiter, viewer. Viewer over here. There you are. As if I were the sommelier of a fine dining establishment. If I were about to... Would you like a glass of wine, sir, to compliment your meal? <laughs> it is very good. <laughs> this, this, this cigar will no doubt cure my asthma, as the Cohibas did for Fidel. Yes. Um, but this... So this is a, this is a, a fine uh, delicacy, a treat. The Cabeza Tombada, as you will recognize, viewer, the neither the neither a Pyramide nor a Parejo. Well, God, I mean, this is it's like a um, cigar of steel, my cutter. Cigar of steel. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. I think I might have, I might have, I don't want to try. I want to good I want to keep some of the Tombada element while getting rid of the Cabeza. Oh! I've rather cabeza it rather than tombada it. But anyway. Have these been uh, where have you been keeping these? In a in a in a, um, a humidified pouch. Oh, fantastic! I mean, they matured in a humidified pouch. Are they good? Pouch. Did you have them in Cuba? I nice? had them at the at the ga the gala or the gala as we the gala the gala. Wasn't that the wife of Dali? Wasn't she called Gala, the muse of Dali? You would know, Freddie. You're the great art art historian of the My family. Ex-wife went by the same name. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, gala. Did she really? Who did? Who did thought? The what mother a world. to my child. The one that we weren't allowed to see. That's the one. Uh, that would have been so sad because mummy was very worried that you were. Why is this lighter giving out? They all do. It's a metaphor for my life. You can use the kitchen. Uh, I got. I got. I got a double shine. Um, uh, this is what you say. What is it? When you when you're very posh, you you call Cartier kitchen or. <laughs> And then when you're going to Astro, Astro. <laughs> you're going to... <laughs> goes, I'm going to take my... <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. I'm going to smoke uh, one of these fat El Fatsos, or the Fat Boys. And <laughs> I'm going to light it with my... <laughs> and I'm going to go with my wife, Galar. <laughs> but the whole thing is, you see, yeah, it's knowing when to shorten and lengthen the vowels. And I have no idea, because I wasn't brung up proper. But I understand that you can't say ascot. You say escot. You say escot. It's very good. E S K apostrophe T, spelt ascot. It's proper stuff. What what ring gauge is this? Um, Five hundred and seventy-three ring gauge. God save us! It's too much. It's too much. They're getting carried away. It's the best. And you've got how many bands on it? Seven. Mm. And they're gold. I think the foot band is rather good. Uh, I like it. It stops it from getting frayed. Well, I think it's very practical. I wonder which of these... Like, do you, you've repaired this one. Nope. That's oh, yeah, what is that? that what's the, what, what, what DuPont is that? That is the, the DuPont telescope. <laughs> the, the DuPont... Well, what is it? What is it? The Columbo. What is that one called? Look at it. It's on fire. It's good. It smells nice. The viewer will... The viewer will write in and besiege the ancestral hovel at this maltreatment of cigars. Is this meant to stay on? Put it back on, Max. You've broken it. 
No, but oh, yeah, I, 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 I brought something else onto the table that I broke, broke in the... <laughs> <laughs> we thought because it was such a somber episode, we'd bring on all the things that I'd broken in the years. <laughs> We've got this, which has got wax on the inside. Yes, I remember that. That bring was my a great... mother's handbag. That I put yes, my we should bring on. that. They even put your bicycle yeah. on your mother's handbag. My motorcycle, because I've broken that a few times. But I managed to, well, I paid someone to fix it, so it's all right. What else? Any Anything else that I've broken? I think, mummy, uh, uh, my, my mummy, your... Your wife broke oh, She broke that, yes. She dropped that. Like she dropped you on your head when you were a child. As you know, the prices have gone sky high. Have they? Haven't, of the, haven't of the cigar. Of oh, they're the, still of, very cheap. Of the famous, of the famous Bahike, the Maduro. Yeah. You know, like Bahik? The Bahike, the Maduro, the, any, any Cohibras we know now, it's all gone up. So what they've done is quite in, in, enterprisingly. They have intersticed. A, a, a sort of new level that is more like I regard it. Do you know how when you get to a flight of stairs you have a landing and then you have another flight up? Yeah, yeah. Well, I find it difficult to get to the first landing. But these well, will be on not. the landing, if you like, before you then ascend into the world of Cohiba. Uh, of course. Of so course. you 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 will you will climb the stairs past the normal international brands, past the much beloved regional editions, and so forth. So these will accompany the the Linea Doro and the Linea nineteen thirty five and and the uh, perhaps the Maduro line. As not well, so much the Maduro line, but more the uh, Hoyo, not the Rio Seco, the Hoyo San Juan. Mm. We were talking because it's three Vitolas and then Monte Cristo had their 1935. Yes, I mean, it's, it's a pattern and they, they have, have a shiny millions. box and they're available in boxes of 20, aren't they? Cariba had their Maduros, but that, of course that's Yes, but maybe we're talking, I think the like, Bahike was more, if you understand the, the analogy, Bahike was more, because there's a Particus Maduro as well. So the Bahike was the Cohiba version of the Linea Maestra. Mm. A viewer, I hope you're thoroughly confused now, because I certainly started off being confused. This is great. Now, when I was in Cuba with your brother, um, oh, we, we, we joined Suffering the... from severe panic attacks and anxiety. I thought you were minding the ancestral hovel. Also so, that as well. And... Freddie joined the... Um, along with me, along with me, joined the official tasting panel at the Particus factory. Mm. It was, I think, one of the days... I think I probably smoked about a mere seven cigars that day. Why weren't you encouraged to inhale the smoke and hold it in for as long as you could? Not encouraged to inhale it, no. Encouraged to merely allow it to caress the palate. Ah, oh, right. So and your lungs. Mean, and the internal organs. That's fantastic. And what, what, um, and you, and you, what was, so this, this, this panel, that's what you were doing. And then breathing in deeply, holding for 10 seconds. <laughs> no, but it was, but you, you, you. We were encouraged to make our observations on a printed sheet. Tastes like smoke. And, and we all realised that the Particus Series D number 4 was far better than the K-Dorse 50, if I recall. The K-Dorse 50 is crap cigar. You can't say that on Falcon's Why Sun. not? That has it's to be, awful. That has to it tastes be like paper that's gone off. No, Max. Like pencil shavings put into a bong, you know, and then inhaled by kind of university students. And that's what's 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 um, then you've got the 54 that you can just kind of can disappoint you for longer. Should we, should we forget <laughs> the, should we forget the K Dorsey? A oh, fine cigar. Unless we forget the Corona's Claro. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be good when it came with the brown band, but it was bearable and now it's like it's awful. Freddie, you might have to cut this from the final Why? broadcast. I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy people enjoy them. <laughs> but, but that's not true. Crap. <laughs> but the Cador say, as I was saying, a fine, a fine and noble cigar, though it is. Anyway. It's like everything else that came out of the 70s. No, no the most, most of the stuff that came out in the 70s was great. The Monte Cristo A, for example, was a well, great... Well, you did have the Persuaders. I mean, that was... Yeah, that the Persuaders was, was very good. And Roger Moore's uh, line of clothing. Made only for himself, not for purchase. What's this? You know, this is quite a nice cigar, isn't it? This is a this I like. Yeah, it's quite strong. You can tell it is quite strong. But this is a great blend. I like the band. It's fancy looking. It's fancy looking, and when when I build up the strength one day, I will be able to open the box and show you how fancy the box is. I don't think you should. Is. I don't think you should. They'll appreciate. I only appreciate. But it will. There will be. It will be recorded. Inscribed on Her Majesty's or His Majesty's internet, I still get, you know, caught out by that. 
His Majesty's Internet. There will be forever images of the unboxing. <laughs> the unboxing. Viewer, viewer, we're going to take a break now and lie yeah, down. Yeah, I need one. But, but, but what we might do is we might unbox something. There's a great valedictory episode that this is. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, well, we've been enjoying this cigar, and I've been enjoying the way that the ash has formed so beautifully without actually leaving the cigar. I had to ash mine because, knowing me, it would yes, you would fall do. into some precious Valu valuable, valuable yeah. item, just some priceless work of art or yeah, some Benvenuto like Cellini salt cellar that we've got or something. Um, viewer, uh, when friend Freddie and I were performing our duties at the Particus factory as member of the tasting panel, we were very impressed by one of our colleagues there who basically transmuted an entire cigar into ash without allowing the ash to fall off the end of the cigar. So effectively, he had a great cigar-sized and shaped pillar of ash. That, that Cuban, Cuban man. It was indeed a Cuban man of, the, of, 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 of most manliness and Cubanishness. Fantastic. So that was good. But viewer, we have a treat for you because I know... What this, have you got? What have you got? This, well, first of all, when I walked upstairs, I noticed that the, there's a hologram here on the bottom a of hologram, this. A hologram. A hologram. So the way it caught the light, it was a little like a, a, what I believe is called a light show in a discotheque. Is that what it's called? Yes, a, a, a light show. Yeah, um, yeah. So I had a different colour illuminations emerging from the band of the cigar. The youth, they love the light. I thought show. it was something stronger and more hallucinogenic, but no, it was merely the whole ogram. Very Irish, that ogram. They love the light shows. You see advertised But viewer, media. viewer, have we got a treat for <coughs> you, viewer? Show. This is what we know, as, 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 as those obituaries of the internet will know, as a unboxing. As a unboxing. A I, unboxing. A unboxing. A, or, a, or, a, or, a historic. Unboxing. Uh, no, an historic. No, a historic. A an historic. A an unboxing. It's, a, it's a, a, an orange. A historic an unboxing. And I'm going to unbox this viewer for your delectation and your education and your eru extreme erudition. Uh, uh, unboxing. Um, 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 unboxing. I have unboxed. Historic. I have unboxed it, and I'm about to unvelvet it. Oh, fantastic! Look at that viewer. Look at that. Look at that. Marvel. 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 Marvel at the quality. And then look. Look at this view. Look, 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 look. Look at this as I unbox it with such, such delicacy. Let's see. Is it good? Such temptation. What you got? What you got? It's so unboxed. Fantastic. And then we sit back. Oh, that does look good, doesn't it? It does look good. It's kind of moderately shiny in a kind of semi-matte sort of way. It's more of an eggshell finish rather a gloss. Is it a hologram? No, there's no hologram. There is merely some beautiful artwork of thunderbolts emerging from a cloud of gold medal winnings from world fairs with Zeus, Zeus himself in the beginning, in the yes. middle. Whoa! Oh! Look at that, viewer. Look at that. The, bar, the, un, the level of unboxings on Faust and Sons. I'm surprised El Fatso fits in there. The El Fatso is the finest. Bands aren't even upright. Bands aren't upright, but apart from on... No, that's just, that's just merely the idiosyncratic nature of the travel from the island paradise that is Havana, Cuba. Mm. So, viewer, that was one treat. You want to have a quick look? Just have a look, just have a look. Is it, yeah. So, viewer... Oh, it looks good. What, what, what makes these cigars special? I'll put this on eBay tonight. No, you will not. You'll put that back in the, back in the, back in the ancestral I, cellars. I'll get you 50 quids for it. I don't want fifty pounds for that. I want, I want that memory to stay with me. The memory being accompanied by my son to Cuba. But viewer, viewer we're very happy to. Have, um, 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 I apologise for the sombre nature of the broadcast. This won't be the last. Me, yeah, um, I hope not. But it could, there was a moment, viewer. There was a moment, viewer, when you seemed to be writing the obituary of Falks and Sons. But looks like they're out of luck. The obituary writers this evening, because we'll be back. Use the At some undisclosed date in the future. We'll use the obituary to light the next cigar. Mm -hmm. It'll be very good. I don't know what we'll be smoking, but no doubt it will be a, a fine, a fine, a fine product, a fine Cuban product. Maybe we should start smoking pipes. No, I don't think I'm going to do that crap. Anyway, viewer, thank you very much indeed for, for watching. We're very grateful to you. We hope you enjoy... Um, the instructive nature of these broadcasts mm. and we hope moreover that you enjoy these cigars when they become available at your local cigar merchant snap them all possible up
Goodbye. Bye. And auf Wiederhören.